Hey guys, thanks for following my page. Uh, I wanted to make this video because I just recently, in fact, just a few minutes ago, saw uh, some people arguing on Facebook over what a plant was. And they had this plant right here. And there's a lot of people saying that this was poison ivy. Uh, I'm here in my backyard. I've got a whole bunch of it here. But this is not poison ivy. This is Virginia creeper. You can see it has five leaves. Let me get one here. Five leaves. One, two, three, four, five. It's Virginia creeper. But now, if I move just inches, this is poison ivy right here. Notice it has three leaves. But actually, it's uh, and technically considered this is all one leaf. These are called leaflets. But you can always tell poison ivy. One of the ways that I was taught, and it's really, really helped me to know poison ivy is the uh, the three leaves always have the stems in it each one of these leaves here has stems but this is definitely poison ivy uh this is some more poison ivy off of it and i've got quite a bit of it here on my back fence i'll show you some different deals of poison ivy that you can look at to kind of show uh different things what it looks like uh this here is not poison ivy uh, it looks like it's green briar there. Nope, sorry. Green briar's behind it. This is a Mustang grape vine, more than likely. Uh, it's been a while since I actually really looked at them. But here's another good sample of poison ivy uh, right here. And you can see again, there's three leaves, and the middle one has the stem off of it. Uh, here's some more poison ivy. This one's a lot bigger poison ivy right here uh, it comes in varying shades of green and different sizes but what you always want to look for like I said and this poison ivy's even got some berries growing on it uh, but that middle leaflet I think I said all of the leaflets but that middle leaflet will have a stem on it and that's how you can tell for sure that's how one of the ways I can tell poison ivy uh, it really sticks out to me when I'm walking around is that middle leaflet has a big stem on it like that like I said and then here's some even bigger one different slightly different colors uh, as you can see uh, my whole back fence is completely covered up with poison ivy here's some more yeah this one's a really good one you can see how long this stem is right here that's poison ivy and uh, I'm allergic to it so I won't be touching it let's go back over here because uh, there's actually some people that lived in a guy lived in ravia oklahoma that said they don't have virginia creeper there uh when i've seen virginia creeper in like every town around ravia uh, but this this is definitely not poison ivy virginia creeper so it won't do anything to you you can touch it it won't do anything so just want to spread that around uh, maybe you were allergic to poison ivy and you're not really sure what it looks like. So maybe that'll help you. Yeah, that middle leaflet, that middle leaf has a stem on it. And that's one of the ways uh, I always use to tell poison ivy. All right, thanks for watching, guys.